chapter 26. Concerning the divisions of the gatekeepers, of the Korahites, Meshelamiah, the son of Korah, of the sons of Asaph. And the sons of Meshelamiah were Zechariah the firstborn, Jediael the second, Zebediah the third, Jothniel the fourth, Elam the fifth, Jehochinan the sixth, Elii Hoenai the seventh. Moreover, the sons of Obed-Edom were Shemaiah the firstborn, Jehozabad the second, Joah the third, Sekar the fourth, Nathanel the fifth, Amiel the sixth, Issachar the seventh, Peulthai the eighth, for God blessed him. Also to Shemei his son were sons born who governed their father's houses, because they were men of great ability. The sons of Shemei were Othni, Raphael, Obed, and Elzebad, whose brothers Elihu and Semachiah were able men. All these were the sons of Obed-Edom, they and their sons and their brethren, able men with strength for the work, sixty-two of Obed-Edom. And Meshelamiah had sons and brethren, eighteen able men. Also Hosea of the children of Merari had sons. Shimri the first, for though he was not the firstborn, his father made him the first. Hilkiah the second, Tabaliah the third, Zechariah the fourth. All the sons and brethren of Hosea were thirteen. Among these were the divisions of the gatekeepers, among the chief men, having duties just like their brethren to serve in the house of the Lord. And they cast lots for each gate, the small as well as the great, according to their father's house. The lot for the east gate fell to Shelemiah. Then they cast lots for his son Zechariah, a wise counselor, and his lot came out for the north gate, to Obed-Edom the south gate, and to his sons the storehouse. To Supim and Hosea the lot came out for the west gate, with the Shalasheth gate on the ascending highway, watchman opposite watchman. On the east were six Levites, on the north four each day, on the south four each day, and for the storehouse two by two. As for the parbar on the west, there were four on the highway and two at the parbar. These were the divisions of the gatekeepers among the sons of Korah and among the sons of Merari. Of the Levites, Ahijah was over the treasuries of the house of God and over the treasuries of the dedicated things. The sons of Laodan, the descendants of the Gershonites of Laodan, heads of their father's houses, of Laodan the Gershonite, Jehielai. The sons of Jehielai, Zetham and Joel, his brother, were over the treasuries of the house of the Lord. Of the Amorites, the Izaharites, the Hebronites, and the Uzielites, Shebuel, the son of Gershom, the son of Moses, was overseer of the treasuries. And his brethren, by Eleazar, were Rehabiah, his son, Jeshiah, his son, Joram, his son, Zikrai, his son, and Shelomith, his son. This Shelomith and his brethren were over all the treasuries of the dedicated things which King David and the heads of fathers' houses, the captains over thousands and hundreds, and the captains of the army had dedicated. Some of the spoils won in battles they dedicated to maintain the house of the Lord. And all that Samuel the seer, Saul the son of Kish, Abner the son of Ner, and Joab the son of Zeruiah had dedicated, every dedicated thing was under the hand of Shalomith and his brethren. Of the Isharites, Chenaniah and his sons performed duties as officials and judges over Israel outside Jerusalem. Of the Hebronites, Hashabiah and his brethren, 1,700 able men, had the oversight of Israel on the west side of the Jordan for all the business of the Lord and in the service of the king. Among the Hebronites, Jerijah was head of the Hebronites according to his genealogy of the fathers. In the fortieth year of the reign of David they were sought, and they were found among them capable men at Jazer of Gilead. And his brethren were two thousand seven hundred able men, heads of fathers' houses, whom King David made officials over the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, for every matter pertaining to God and the affairs of the king.